Hello guys, Seth from 2003 is finally here, official version. In this video we are going to check Inter Milan, probably the best club in Italy. I will show you the best tactic, some players that you should be able to sign and we are going to check current and potential ability of each player, so let's go. So first let's check the best tactic for Inter, I mean if you want to play something like in real life then you need to use this formation and it's probably the best formation, a 3-5-2 with two wing backs, in attack classical operation between strong tall striker and that's Romelu Lukaku, in real life injury is simply destroying uh, everything and this is the main problem, Yeah, but in FM he's still adorable target and check this, unbelievable attributes, yeah. And uh, Lautaro Martinez has advanced forward, fast striker uh, with some nice technique, that's Lautaro in real life in the best form right now and the best striker of Inter right now, that's for sure. So you should not sell him, you won't find better striker for this money. Uh, then uh, we have Hakan Chalhanogul, Turkish, if you're asking me, he's Mezala, yeah. So with this passing skills, uh, with this technique, yeah, I want to see him uh, roaming a bit from position and also there is... Uh, uh, shoot more often because with this uh, long shots, why not? Okay, uh, Brozovic, someone who can help defense, someone who can uh, help attack, uh, still classy box to box midfield, but I would give him role CM automatic duty. Run up and down, he's going to score some goals, he's going to help defense, yeah, that's for sure. And Barella is a box to box midfield, yeah, also a classy player, he's 25, so. Uh, one of the better players there. On the left side we have Federico Di Marco with these long shots, with this crossing, he's very dangerous wing back. And also player who has individual instruction to shoot more often, why not? Long shots are 17, yeah. On the right side I think uh, that Denzel Dumfries is more attacking with this speed. Too bad that he doesn't have better crossing, I mean this is still not bad but if, if it's like 15, 16 dribbling same then he would be unstoppable player. Uh, still very very good wing back yeah okay three central defenders all of them yeah they are really good i like them uh, in fm also some nice attributes uh, that's bastoni stefan de Rie and screener slovenian central defender uh, screener is actually with the best attributes this is really awesome and on the goal we have 38 years old uh, goalkeeper yeah he's a grandpa but still uh, still fantastic goalkeeper okay uh, now let's check uh, all the players here we can check current and potential ability of each player guys also you can check uh, important matches hidden attribute and loyalty we see that player with the highest in, uh, important matches attribute is uh, Samir Kandano with 17 also the most loyal player yeah uh, most of players have this hidden attribute uh, higher than 10 so this is just fine a uh, player who is not loyal at all, that's uh, Hakan Chalhanoglu, only 7. Same thing with Henrik Miktarian. Okay, so the best player of Inter Milan is actually Romelu Lukaku in real life. He's, he has problems with injuries, this is killing him, yeah. Uh, but in FM he's still adorable striker, adorable target man. Uh, Milan Skriner with the current ability, 161 is second. We spoke about him, really classy Slovenian central defender. Lautaro Martinez uh, with the current ability, 161. Okay, then Nicola Barella, 160. Also fantastic CM. Uh, Marcelo Brozovic, Croatian CM, current ability, 160. Then Hakan Charkanog, 153. Uh, Denzel Dumfries 153, Bastoni is there also, uh, we see that most of them are wanted by other clubs like Skriniar wanted by Chelsea, Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid, Lautaro Martinez wanted by Paris Saint-Germain, Barella by Liverpool, Manchester City, uh, Chalhanoglu, Manchester City, Bastoni, Chelsea, gonna be really hard to keep them, actually these are the best players and they're not told you need to keep them at uh, Inter, but you should try to sell, Adin Dzeko, really big salary, 36 uh, years old, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he was classy player, but now, now, okay, then you should try to sell Henrik Miktarian, same thing, uh, Joaquin Correa, I mean, in real life, uh, he's really weak player in FM, he's not that bad, but I would sell him, <laughs> too bad that you can't earn some big money on him, uh, that's for sure, okay, uh, do we have some young players with a high potential, Matias Zanotti is there, he's 19 years old, potential uh, 147, okay, uh, this is not that bad, okay, then uh, Christian uh, Aslani, Albanian CM, uh, potential 159, this is really good, but actually he's on loan from Empoli, maybe you can buy him at the end, uh, then 
Giacoppo Giannelli, 21 years old, actually a really weak potential, 115. Uh, sell him if you can get some money. Yeah, really nothing. Okay, uh, then we have uh, Zinho uh, on loan from as Alkmaar Central Defender. Really nice potential. Um, then Raul uh, Bellanova, Italian uh, winger, also not bad potential. 155. Uh, Bastoni gonna improve for sure. 168. The other players are not that young. So uh, now let's see under 20 squad. Do we have some interesting kids there? With some high potential, yeah, I'm curious. One of them is 17 years old, Valentin Carboni, Argentinian. Wow, awesome uh, speed. Need to pay attention to him. Check this potential 165. This is great. Okay, then we have uh, uh, Luciana Gomez, French CM, not bad potential. Uh, Satriano, striker, potential 152. So these players are the best. Now let's see on the rating squad. Do we have some interesting kids there? Actually, we don't have Alessio Chiesa only potential 132. When we are speaking about team leaders, we see that Inter has three team leaders, Handanovic, Brozovic and Barella. Yeah, we have many players with a high influence, so for now you should not worry about this. Finances are not that brilliant. We have 17 million in our transfer budget. So we can't afford some really expensive players. Maybe if you sell all these players that I said, you're gonna fill your transfer budget and you'll be able to do something. But now I'll show you my short list uh, for this money. We don't have uh, too much money to spend, but this is my short list. Five players that you should be able to sign. First is Ilias Akomachi, 18 years old Spanish wonder kid, already incredible. Flair 17, technique 16, and he's only 18 years old, plus dribbling is 15. And the best thing is that his potential ability is 169, current ability 116. Also fantastic hidden attributes, consistency 15, important matches 15. And his price is only 12 million. This is a joke. This is why he's the first on, uh, first on my uh, short list. Second is Vasco Souza, this Portuguese advanced playmaker. Superb passing skills for this young fellow. And not a big price between 11 and 13 million. Also nice potential, 164. Uh, third on my list is Lazar Samardzic, this Serbian playing fantastic football right now. His price is a little bit bigger, between 18 and 22 million, but really worth of signing. He is going to be uh, one of the best uh, CMs in this game. Potential ability 164. Okay, uh, next on my list is Markus Tiram playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach. In real life, Inter wants to sign this guy, and I think he would be really nice signing. Superb dribbling uh, technique, nice speed. I like this kind of. Plus, he's very strong. He can play as a winger. He can play as advanced forward. Maybe he can be really nice uh, sub for um, striker for advanced forward. I mean, um, we will see. Okay. And then we have Renan Lodi, left back, superb speed, nice mental attributes, doesn't have some real weakness, maybe jumping rich, uh, but for this money you're going to have really quality left wing back, especially for the formation that you are going to play.